What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? This is Jack Danaher 2001 here, and I am officially back with a big video for today. I mean, the reason why I was gone for so long is because I was taking a rest from all the re-uploads. I mean, YouTube is pre was pretty much against me, but now I'm hoping it's over. I mean, it, it's not. I mean, I still have to deal with it. Anyways. What this video is, I'm showing you all the drawings from the past and the future. So, the first few sections of it was the from the Thomas track expansion pack from Tomy. And the reason why I drew this was because it was expand because I expanded with the uh, other sets I saw there in the instructions. And the next few sections are of what inspiration is like for me, like from PlayRail or Trackmaster, Trackmaster 2. And it was pretty interesting also I did some like customizations for real life trains I mean that was pretty interesting and this section here was the Tommy Teen App crossover I said coming soon to 2018 but it was a year earlier I mean it was interesting at the time but it didn't turn out very well I mean yeah I did a little bit of train history especially the real life ones, especially Thomas the Train. I mean, I made some, I made some American trains uh, by hand. I mean, it was kind of simple, kind of simple to do, but at the same time, it can be stressful. I mean, especially you did uh, this one here. Um, I believe it's gonna be built like late twenty twenties or early twenty thirties. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know the basics. So this section here was the train, was the characters from the Great Race. Uh, the reason why there was check marks on it was because I was checking down of all the trains I got and customized. I got all of them, and I'm proud of myself. Anyways, and this section here are the behind the scenes from the videos from 2016. You might be wondering about all those sporting videos that I did back in August during the 2016 Olympics. Back then, they were fans. I mean, it, it was pretty dead in 2021 and 2022 because no fans. I mean, it, I mean, it is sad. It, it just makes me feel like it's unwatchable. But anyways, this was the racing one with the cars. Cars flying by a bunch of people. And that was like the hardest to do. And then the next section was... Pretty much the basic layouts of the other videos. Especially the racing one, it took a lot of effort into it. I believe it took like a few days to finish it. I mean, and then the next one are the engines from Journey Beyond Sodor, and I got all of them, as you can see. And the, and the last part was interesting with all the colors of my name. Anyway, so the next section are the drawings from Markiplier and other video games. As some of you people may not know, some of you people may know, um, I adore Markiplier. Um, he is pretty much one of my favorite YouTubers that I ever watched. I mean, I've watched him for nearly nine years now. Man, it's been that long. And I also did some uh, duels from other video games like Five Nights at Freddy's. And a few others. <laughs> the current section is Five Nights at Freddy's, so I don't know. Well, so the next pictures are from the charity live streams from 2016 and early 2017. Uh, I actually did those uh, a few days after the charity live streams. I mean, I decided to do those. I mean, the reason why I did all the drawings for quite a few years is because I was bored. Like, I had... I mean, it was pretty much school. I had nothing to do, so that was from West of Loathing. Then this last of the PS4 and Xbox One, and this section was Cuphead. I mean, Cuphead was inspired from the 30s. That's why I said thank you, grandparents. Thank you, grandparents. And the next section was Freak Fortress 2, my favorite. My favorite type of gameplay in TF2. And then the next section is the Pyramid of all the. 
YouTubers that I adore, well, pretty much, it's just Markiplier, Bob, Wade, and then Jeff Sucked the guy. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I still watch Markiplier to this day. Anyways, the next section was the boat dog meme with Chica, and then the scenic background, and this picture here was just a basic golden retriever. I mean, that's all I had to do. And so this was Baldi's basics with all the bunch of characters and items. Then the next section are the pumpkins. Uh, the pumpkins were actually from Markiplier's vids from 2016 and 2017, and the final two ones, and the final two ones were from were from the name redacted. I, mean, I believe some of you people will know the name redacted, the name redacted, but I'm not going to say it. So this one was the 12 days of Christmas from Markiplier, as you can see, especially the E meme. Especially from the E meme and the next sections were from the sorry and trouble videos. I mean those two videos have been my favorite. And then the next one was the Cards Against Humanity. The only one it was my favorite one. And then Bob's Avatar from the Uno video. And then the avatars from the sorry video, well pretty much the tabletop simulator video and the avatars of the three guys from Uno. And then Markiplier sunglasses, the, the Harry Potter ones. And also a jack o' lantern. Uh, a jack o' lantern from the name redacted. Anyways, the next here sections are the sports. Uh, mostly jersey swaps. And the first one I showed you was if any people don't know football as much as I do, the first one was Miles Garrett from the Browns. I might answer that before you was drafted, I predicted that. And then this one was the original Brown Stadium, in case you may not know. And then the next sections are pretty much the players. I mean, this was back in 2018, um, during the free agency. And a whole bunch of uh, the big, the big names uh, to new teams. I mean, it turned out well for some, but some didn't turn out very well. And like some of you people may not know, um, Antonio Brown, I remember he was hoping to get traded um, during the offseason 2019. He was traded to the Raiders. I did the Niners and Panthers, but unfortunately he didn't turn out very well. So that one was Le'Veon Bell with the Jets, even though it was the older ones. And then there's Nick Bosa, and unfortunately it, it wasn't a Raider. That turned out to be Max Crosby. Well, close enough. And then the next are the boards for the Panthers and Rangers. My two favorite teams. And the next section are from TV shows and anime. So, the first one was one of my favorite people on comedy was Dave Chappelle. And then the next one was the Spongebob mocking meme. And then Shrek's surprise face. And then the, the annoyed squirrel face um, when he's disappointed or angry. And then the next section was Patrick from the, the new era or the HD era, I would like to call it. And then Shrek's surprising face again. And then there was a little doodle of Ike from South Park. I mean, I did, did that once when I was bored when I was in school. And then Patrick again. It wasn't really much except for the surprise face. And the plankton from the Halloween the special, that was the. It's not motion one back in 2017. And then the Soul Eater logo I've done from Halloween. And then there's SpongeBob. I mean, I drew this after Hillenburg's death. And then the next section is the moments of Patrick of all the faces for the memes. And then this section was, again, after he died, I decided to put SpongeBob and Patrick from a Series 11 episode. And then the Grinch, the Jim Carrey one. And then the next sections are... Some of you people may not know uh, the characters. I mean, spoilers, Krona and Death the Kid. And then there's Bender from Futurama. I mean, I drew that during the 20th anniversary of that show. Amazing. And then the next section, uh, that was Happy from Fairy Tale. Then the, then the Souls from that. The same series. It's a toy, look it up. Um, and then the faces of SpongeBob, Squidward, and Mr. Krabs. Did those back in school, and then 
One is the main character from Soul Eater, some of you may not know. I mean, if you do not watch anime as much as I do, I mean, I do it nowadays. So then, you know, it's mostly just basic fairy tale in Soul Eater. I mean, hey, they're my top two animes. I mean, my my first series of animes, first Soul Eater, and then the next was Fairy Tale. I mean, I guess pretty much now when I'm a weeb, they're just pretty much now my soul for animes. So here we go on to the last section of this video are the school projects and the other things such as memes, music, and colorful stuff. So this one here was the Filthy Frank meme. It's time to stop. I mean, that was an all-time meme I did back in 2017. Especially the one that did an all engines go against it. And then nothing to section here. It was just Windows. I mean, I was born. I mean, I was pretty much a fan of computies or computers. I'm a big fan of it. I mean, just pretty much like doodles, especially other stuff. And then this one here was Phil Swift and Flex Seal, Flex Tape. I actually bought Flex Tape uh, after Christmas, like a few years ago, and I surprisingly still have it uh, as the recording of this video. And this one here is the difference between lefty and righty. I mean, I'm a righty, as some of you may not know. And then there are some doodles like for holidays like I did Christmas and that one was Valentine's Day and then it's just like basic like shadowing or coloring like and then this section was like scenic backgrounds I mean I love doing it I mean I have one on my computer and then the oof meme I mean it's not as big as it was then and then his fingers or balls and the shadow was pretty decent I did I did a pretty good job with the shadows I mean I remember doing all this back in school I mean it was pretty simple and then this section was Metallica and then Bob Marley uh two uh, one of my favorite musicians and that was Christmas and Valentine's Day. I mean, like I said. And then, this section is Twitter, YouTube, and Discord icons. I mean, those are the three main social media sites I use. And then Big Chungus. And then Big Chungus as a football player. Yes, I decided to do that. And the memes. And that one is the, oh shit, here we go again. And then the Thanos one. This quote perfectly balances all things to me, and then this, and then two Spider-Man pointing at each other, and one of the things was the, one of the projects I had that green guitar and one of the, like the glass things I did, but on paper, it was my own custom snowflake, even though it was bad looking, and the shadowings that I did for projects in school. And then another scenic background and another glass showing on paper. And then the last one is one of my favorites. You can tell I love beaches. I mean, beaches, I mean, I don't want to stay at a beach for like the rest of my life. No matter the place, I want to live where the beach is at so I can go there. So, anyways, that is it at the end of this big video. This is Jack Danaher 2001 here saying thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.